everyone, I'm Jean Marcos from That's Brilliant. In this video, we're going to talk about polynomial derivatives. And so, we're, we are going to have uh, some videos, more than one, talking about uh, this topic. We're going to prove in different ways, uh, improve, we're going to prove mathematic, mathematically in different ways uh, the derivative of polynomial functions. And this is the first video of uh, this topic. So, imagine you have a function f of x equal to x raised to the nth power. This is a polynomial function. And we want to take the derivative of this function. This is one of the first derivatives we learn when you study calculus. So, f prime of x, the derivative of the function, is equal to n times x raised to n minus 1. And here, n is just a constant. We can see. And here is just the exponent of x. So n is a constant. And we are going to prove in this video in the, and in the next one about this topic that the derivative of this function is this here. So uh, before we start the mathematical proof in this video, we're going to see a, li a little property of logarithms we're going to use in the, in the, the proof. So remember, when we, study, when we study logarithms, we see this property. So, if we have, for example, a number a, and we raise this number to log base a of b, this is equal to b. Why is this equal to b? Well, imagine that, uh, see this in this way, this logarithm here, just this here, it's asking to which exponent we raise a in order to result b. And we are getting the answer for, for this question and uh, raising a to that number. So, obviously, the answer must be b. Another way of saying this is, let, let's call log base a of b, of, for example, uh, c. So, a raised to c. Uh, what's a raised to c? Well, we, we know in logarithms. If we define this, this logarithm is equal to c. So, uh, the number to which we raise a in number to uh, result b is c. So, if we raise a to c, it's going to be b. And I'm not getting in specific details about this. This is something we study when we see logarithms. But you need to remember this to uh, do this mathematical proof of this video. So remember this. If we say a raised to log a, log base a of b, this is equal to b. So let's start. We're going to uh, take the derivative of x raised to n. So we're going to do derivative with respect to x of x raised to n. And we are going to say that x raised to n is equal to e, e the Euler's number, 2.7 something, it's, in, uh, it's an infinite number, e raised to natural log of x raised to n. So we are, we are using this property. Natural log is the logarithm base e. So we are doing e raise it to log base z of x to the n. So, the, the answer for this is x to the n. We are just writing x to the n in another way here. And this way is going to be more interesting for us to, to prove the derivative of polynomial functions. So, g, gx of x to the n is equal to gx of e raise it to natural log of x raise it to n. And another property of logarithms. When we have an exponent in the argument of the, the logarithm, we can put this exponent uh, here multiplying the logarithm. This is uh, one of the properties of logarithms. We see the demonstration, the proof, the mathematical proof of this when we study logarithms. So, this is equal to d gx of e raise it to 
and natural log of x. And now we are going to use the chain rule. So we are, we are going to the chain rule we use to take the derivative of the composition of, for example, two functions. So let's call u of a natural log of x. So this is equal to the derivative of e raised to u. So in simple words, the general rule says that the, the derivative of this function is going to be the derivative of the outside function times the derivative of the inside function. Write uh, this mathematically. We can say that this is equal to the derivative with respect to u of e raised to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So this is the chain rule. I'm not getting. I'm also not getting in specific details about this because we studied this when I see the chain rule the, for the derivative of uh, the derivative of the composition of two functions. This is a chain rule. Okay. So we have the derivative of the outside function and the derivative of the inside function. So going on, the derivative we know. For example, g g x of e to the x is equal to e to the x. And we have videos of this in that range mathematically proving that this is true. So I'm going to put the link of that video in the description below, the, math the mathematical proof of this. So if the derivative with respect to x of e to the x is e to the x, the derivative with, with respect to u of e to the u is e to the u. But instead of writing u here, I'm going to uh, write n natural log of x. And this multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. So u is this. So we want to know the derivative with respect to x of n natural log of x. So here, as we saw in the beginning, n is a constant. So this uh, can uh, get out of the derivative. So this is equal to n times the derivative with respect to x. This was strange. The derivative with respect to x of natural log of x. And we know this is another famous derivative. The derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x, or x raised to the negative 1 power. So this is equal to n over x. So here times n over x. So continuing our math here, uh, what we're going to do is do the, the reverse process here. So if we have uh, e raised to n natural log of x, we're going to do the opposite thinking, opposite thing we did here. So we are going to put this expon this number here as exponent of the argument of the logarithm. It's a number multiplying the, the logarithm. You can do that property we talked about the reverse way. So we're going to put this number as an exponent of the argument of the logarithm. So this is going to be here, continuing this part. This is going to be equal to. Uh, this is going to be equal to e raised to natural log of x to the n times n over x, n over x. And uh, as we saw in the beginning, if we have some number raised to the log base that number of something, this is equal to the something. So we saw that e raised to natural log of x to the n is x to the n. So e natural log of x to the n is x to the n times n, all of this divided by x. So here we are almost finishing our proof. We know we have x to the n divided by x. So this is x raised to 1. So a property of powers, we know, of exponents, we know this is equal to x. So it's going to be x and what exponent here? n minus 1. 
because it's divided here. So n minus 1. And all of this multiplied by n. So here we have proved the derivative of polynomial functions. We have proved that the derivative of x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1. And here we have uh, a restriction in the math because x must be greater than 1 because of the math we did here. We use it. Uh, logarithm here and our x in this part here our x was the argument of natural log and we know the argument of the natural log must be greater than zero so it's uh, something we see in the theory of logarithms for the logarithm to exist this number must be greater than zero so here in this mathematical proof we have a restriction uh, that x must be greater than 0. So this is it. This is the first mathematical proof of the derivatives of polynomial, of polynomial functions. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next video.